Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the net present value using the financial calculator, the BA2 plus Texas instrument. But in this net present value, we are looking at an example where we have constant or even cash flows. In our previous lesson, we looked at the net present value when you have uneven or non-constant cash flows using the same financial calculator as well as using the tables and using Excel. So if you'd like to check those examples out, you'll find all of them in the links in the description below, as well as many other lessons using the same financial calculator. Now, this calculator, first thing that we like to do whenever we're using our financial calculator is to clear the memory or to reset it. How do we do that? Let's just press second function and then we press here it's written plus slash minus. You can see on top it's written reset and then we enter and then now it has reset our memory. You want to make sure you always do that so that your previous calculations do not affect the answer we get here. Now, what are we asked here? We are told that a company is considering investing in a project and wants to know whether it should accept it. The cost of capital for the company is 10%. The initial investment is 15,000 Rand. The cash flows are as follows. And we're given cash flows from year one all the way to year four. And you can see that all the cash flows are the same from year one to year four. That is what we mean by even or constant cash flows. All the cash flows are the same and it's actually a very easy and a simple calculation using the financial calculator as well as using the tables you'll find how to do that in the link in the description below you'll find that they're very simple to do when you have ca constant cash flows so we are asked here based on the net present value should the company accept the project and we know what the net present value is if you'd like to check out the theory like i said you'll click on the links in the description below as i referred to earlier on but the net present value if it's positive we accept the project if it's negative we reject the project so based on the answer we will get we'll be able to determine whether we should accept it or reject it so how do we do it with this financial calculator well the first thing we want to input is our initial investment and remember the initial investment is always put as a negative because the money you have to pay out if you're going to invest in the project so the first button you press is the CF as you can see here it's written CF you press that one and it's asking you what the cash flow is at year zero and we can see the initial investment is 15,000 Rand that is the cash flow at year zero so you press 15,000 and then you make sure you put it as a negative because it's a cash outflow and then you press plus slash minus to put it as a negative and then we press enter and you make sure you press enter so that you see this one where it's written cash flow at year zero equals to minus 15,000 rand and then once we've done that we press the downward arrow and it's asking us what is the cash flow at period one and that is this cash flow here the 5,000 rand so I press 5,000 and then we leave it as a positive because you can see the cash flows are positive. If they were, if they were negative, it would have indicated. And then we press enter. Now we put the cash flow at year one. We press the downward arrow again. And what it's asking us here is what is the frequency of the cash flow at year one? In other words, how many times does this 5,000 rand occur after year one? Well, we know that it occurs for the rest of the years. Like, like we said, it's constant cash flows. So it occurs from year one all the way to year four. So it occurs four times. The 5,000 rand occurs four times. So we press four and then we press enter. And you have put in all the details that you needed to put. Now we, all we need to do is just to put the interest rate and get the net present value. So what do you do next? You just press here. It's written NPV. If you press it, it's asking you what is your interest rate. And you can see the cost of capital is 10%. So we press 10 and then you press enter and then you press the downward arrow and then all you need to do is to press here it's written cpt which stands for compute and it will give you your net present value and you can see our answer there is 849 rand and 33 cents and it's a positive what does it mean it means that we should accept the project or the company should accept the project because the net present value is positive very simple right make sure you just start you put your cash flows cash flow at year zero you put it as a negative press the downward arrow put the cash flow at year one and then press the downward arrow again put how many times that cash flow occurs and that is the number of years for the net present uh, value calculation and it was four years for us and then you press the npv you put in your interest rate press the downward arrow and then you compute your net present value I hope it has made sense. I hope it was simple enough for you and you are now able to calculate the net present value when you have constant cash flows using the same financial calculator. If you have gained value, please subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it to those you think it might help. Till next time. Cheers.